My name is Hasna Salim and you are watching Hi TV. Today we're here at the Taj Samudra to witness a majestic voyage of a golden legend by the Vogue jewellers Colombo. Stay tuned for more. Unfortunate era occurred for Bogue and our family. 
That is when my grandfather fell ill in 1972. Thereafter, Mrs. Chandra Neva Chandra had to look after her ailing husband, her two children aged 14 and 9 at that time, and the business until the elder son, the present managing director, my father, took control of both. Dear Archie, you are a gem of a lady. Please accept this tribute from all of us and may I wish her good health, long life and may you continue with your golden advices for many years to come. Tehruan Sarai. Thank you very much. Yes, it is the grand felicitation segment of this evening's proceedings. Madam Hale Chandra, your fa fabulous guiding, guidance and unique stewardship has elevated folk dwellers into unprecedented heights in Sri Lanka's jewelry industry. This is our salutation to you. Managing Director of Work, Mr. Andhra Hemachandra, Director, Mrs. Samantha Hemachandra, and Director, Dr. Pujita Hemachandra. Please come on stage to present these trophies of felicitation, tokens of gratitude, signifying the human service rendered by Mrs. Chandra Hemachandra to work jewelers. Please come on stage. the managing director of Vogue Jewelers, Colombo, Mr. Anurahema Chandra himself. How are you doing today, sir? All right, great. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about this beautiful Tusk collection we witnessed today. Yes, actually, to be very precise, uh, I have been a wildlife fan for so many, last so many years, actually more than 35 years. And so was my wife, uh, Mrs. Sema Chandra, who is also director at Vogue. So what we thought of at this moment, we must do something with regard to the elephant or the tusker who has been uh, in association with our tradition for a very long period. So we thought of uh, designing something which depicts the certain body parts of the tusker. For example, the tusker head, tusker foot, tusker's tail and so on and so forth. So this is what inspired us. And uh, today it became true. So what did you think about the overall event today, sir, and our esteemed guests who are present today? Well, it went, it went on very well, because uh, uh, according to our tradition, we, as a Buddhist organization, which respects the other religions as well, we thought of gifting the first uh, necklace made out of 22 karat gold based on the Tusker collection concept to the noble triple gem which we did and then we wanted to uh, uh, felicitate our chairperson who has been in business for the last 53 years 
and whose input, input was very, very important uh, in relation to the Vogue's ongoing process. And uh, that noble cause was also done today. We paid the tribute, tribute to the chairperson. And thereafter became the Tusker Collection Lodge. And uh, I thought uh, it's the whole event is, uh, is an absolute success. Well, definitely a lot of support from a lot of people to put together this celebratory evening. Thank you very much, sir, for joining Hi TV. We'll see you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tusker Collection is a fusion of Oriental and Western styles, which enhances a range of looks by adding a touch of glamour. These elegant and versatile pieces are suited to any occasion, from gala dinners to wrap in an international fashion show. These pieces are sure to catch your eye. <laughs> a man who is who needs no introduction to the camera again the famous dr ravindra randaniya sir how are you doing today good good enjoying the evening <laughs> so what did you think about this beautiful tusker collection we witnessed today you know i can very genuinely say this is a unique creation in the sense uh, the whole concept is different from the jewelry that we generally see it's based on our own traditions and it's linked with the Tusker, giving this 
collection of jewelry a kind of a majestic touch and the pieces the items definitely do justice to that uh, identification they have given as tasca collection because they they are quite different from the ordinary uh, jewelry that we see um, it gives an identity i think the most important thing is to the wearer it shows her taste it shows her elegance and then it shows that she is a bold woman with a uh, where she can face the world with a lot of confidence this is some a certain fact that comes out from the jewelry because they are they are big and they are definitely by our standards they are very big but it doesn't compare in any way with the sets of jewelry that we see the traditional indian or uh, western designs it's our own thing we feel that also so i think that is why i i can definitely call this a unique collection yes it's very sri lankan indeed so please tell us what was your favorite piece out of the collection that's a very very difficult question to answer because i think all of them when i saw them being the modeled today each and every one beats the other of course you have to you may have to have a fat wallet to reach them but they are absolutely beautiful i can't distinguish one from the other
here with the beautiful Indira Hetiarachi. Madam, how are you today? Oh, good, great. Thank you. What did you think about this beautiful event, this function, this celebration? Oh, it, it was fantastic. Actually, it's, it came out better than what we expected also. It was hard, hard work, hard work that has shown results. And uh, this is the first time in Sri Lanka that one has done something like this. Uh, it was inspired by elephants as it was as explained before um, yeah so there are some beautiful play, uh, pieces which is like uh, everlasting from generation to generation and for a bride especially for a bride or for a parent to give away to a bride as a gift as a dowry this is something that's everlasting did you have any favorites out of the collection uh, the tusker's foot Thank you so much, Mrs. Indira Hetiarachi. We'll see you soon. the beautiful Sangeeta with us right now who needs no introduction to the camera. Sangeeta, how are you doing? I'm doing very good actually, thank you. What did you think of the beautiful Tusker collection today? Uh, well, Vogue has always come up with something unique, something different, something nice and I think Tusker collection is um, on its own a, a masterpiece and I, I, I love the designs, they're very different, each design is very different. And it kind of resembles, there's something Sri Lankan about it because it resembles a part of a Tusker. So yeah, I love the collection. I've already had my eyes on a couple of them. So it depends on my husband's mood. I shall tell him about it. But yeah, I loved it. Um, something in particular, what did you think about the lantern earrings? And for it to come from 1962, it's a design. Uh, so you can just imagine what a, um, a timeless piece it is and also what kind of an artist uh, the creator is um, of Mr. Himachandra, and Andra Himachandra, Mr. Sarath Himachandra, Mr. Andra Himachandra's father but I was thinking oh my gosh for him to imagine it, to create it, um, what an artist he is and I was admiring that aspect of the person and thinking okay coming from that family the creations, the jewelry, yeah it's, it's wonderful. I was part of work for more than 20 years in my life so yeah I'm very happy to be a part of that uh, well thank you very much for joining Hi TV we'll see you soon <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 
our brand ambassador from all the way from India, Pradayani Arisa Rodhaman. Please put your hands together and give a massive round of applause. So there you go, we just experienced the majestic, the beautiful and golden collection of the Tasca collection by Vogue Jewelers Colombo. Thank you for watching, this is me Hasna signing out, until next time.